Hello everyone, thank you very much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, but let's get into today's main topic, eh? So today we're going to be talking about these guys here. And these guys are Oscars. Uh, Astronautus Ocellatus is their scientific name. And what we're going to be talking about today is what you need to know before you get one. Or things to consider if you are looking to get one. The idea of this video is that sort of you've already looked through all the care guides and stuff that you can find on YouTube and across various sort of um, blogs and that kind of thing. But what are some things that you need to think about in a more general sense? And what is it important to remember to ensure that if you're getting an Oscar, you are set up for success in the long term and that your fish is going to be happy in the long term? There is a few things. I will go over some of the basic sort of care things. Um, this is a 150 centimeter, five foot, um, maybe 400 liter tank, 450 liter tank. And I'd say this is going to be your biggest, uh, smallest tank that you'll want to look at for an Oscar. I know you can find places that will say like a US 75 gallon, even a US 50 gallon or 55 gallon, I think they call them, which is like 120 centimeters or even 90 centimeters that quite frankly is not big enough um what you'll often find is it's very it's not not very common to see big oscars you always because what happens is so basically with an oscar they'll jump up in size and they'll get to like this medium or this big size like they'll get to this size really really fast but then it takes them a while from this size to mature and often like i could see the argument for keeping this guy in a 55 gallon or a 75 gallon tank but realistically long an oscar for years and years and years which you should because they live that long they quite frankly aren't going to be able to that's not going to be a big enough tank long term you're going to struggle the fish is going to run a room it, it just trust me on this one i've kept a lot of oscars and this is probably the unpopular opinion but this is what we need to do the other way I kind of describe them to people is because people are like, oh, Oscars are so big and so badass and they're such like, you know, they're basically like piranhas. But that just couldn't be further from the truth. Oscars are very docile and like to be left on their own and like kind of just do their own thing. They will be aggressive if you're keeping them in a smaller tank like that 55 gallon. They will be more aggressive because they'll be more stressed out. And if you're keeping them with improper improper tank mates, they'll be far more aggressive. When they're kept properly, they are so peaceful. They're such peaceful fish. They don't. They're not really massive um, eaters of other fish. They very much would prefer to just get left on their own, do their own thing, and forget about everyone else. So the way I think about it, or I tell people to think, approach this situation or approach this tank as though you will just be keeping one Oscar or you know depends on the tank size but like you'll just be keeping the oscar or a couple oscars or whatever by themselves for their entire life now of course this isn't true there's plenty of things that'll be suitable tank mates but i, I explain it this way because that's i think the most their best way of thinking about it like you build your tank around your oscar so say you have this big tank and you got one oscar then you know you can put silver dollars or you know you can put a uh, common pleco or you know some baishas or um whatever but those i would view as add-ons in terms of just pretend or imagine that you're just going to have one oscar because you might find that that's going to be enough to keep you happy and keep you sort of enjoying your fish and it's not you're not going to have as many issues with like keeping them with unsuitable tank mates trying to like shoehorn stuff in that probably shouldn't be with them um things like popular well not popular but common things i see getting shoved in them in there with them that aren't massively suitable would be things like you know mixed and bonus species um i see all the time you see convict cichlids um green terrors that kind of thing and like sometimes these things can work but i really wouldn't recommend it and it would be an exception to the rule think about it is imagine you're going to keep it by yourself are you still going to be by itself are you still going to be interested that's good 
there's things we can add kind of around the periphery, but really focus on that Oscar. And kind of going back to what I said before about the aggression, you're not going to want to, like, people are like, oh, yeah, I can feed it, like, all these feeder fish, like, constantly. It'll be my big, badass predator. But as we discussed before, they're not really, like, they're not great hunters. They're niche in the wild as they eat snails. Don't feed them snails and, and uh, that's kind of what they do. They go around picking stuff. Um, if you want to do live feeding, things like um, worms, um and like bugs and that kind of thing is going to be a much much better option than you know like people common feeder fish like you know things like goldfish or guppies or convicts and stuff is terrible particularly for an oscar just because they're not really predator fish they are kind of more in uh, the word we use is insectivorous um so like a good pellet is a staple plus you can throw in like earthworms or like cockroaches or whatever but don't don't do feeder fish it's just it's a bad option for oscars in particular um i i really would recommend against doing it um they'll they'll you'll have far more success if you're feeding the appropriate foods so we've got the right tank size we've got the right um what do you call that tank size diet um tank mates we've got all that sorted so what else do we need to know what else might be an important thing to sort of recognize and for me then it's going to be maintenance now maintenance with an oscar is a little bit more tricky because it's obviously a big fish they got a big body particularly when they're mature so you're going to need to do more to keep up with that much waste number one a bigger tank dilute it but you will you want to keep on top of your water changes oftentimes we see particularly with oscars real stunted ones around um and so stunted is basically where they get stuck where they can't grow anymore because the conditions aren't being met so if you have super high nitrates and like heaps of hormones and stuff in the water they're going to stop growing and you're never going to get your full sort of potential or the full size that it should be growing to so what i would do is make sure you're doing big water changes and frequent water changes now the specifics are going to vary from tank to tank you know it might be 50 percent once a week might be you know 30 percent twice a week whatever um there's a lot of variables but make sure you keep on top of it like you miss a week here or there it's not going to matter but you don't want to as a as a matter of course just stop doing water changes or something because you are going to have trouble there's a lot of sort of buzz in the in the community at the moment about like you know father fish and all this kind of stuff but that is at like there is words i could say that i'm not going to say because this is a family friendly channel but like that is terrible advice particularly for oscars you need to do your water change like quite simply put there is no substitute make sure you have a good filter make sure you're prepared to do big frequent water changes just that is it there is no other way around it of course once you have your tank set up you can sort of find ways to help like i'll show you my, i've got all this all these terrestrial plants growing out of my tank here but i bet on the fact like i know for a fact if this tank had no plants and it was just like you just got a water change i know i could do like if i need to do three water changes of 80 percent every week i know i could do it because an oscar is a pet so obviously i have that emotional attachment you don't get with like tetras you still need to do water changes with tetras but like i know for a fact because it's a bigger commitment i know i can keep doing that and i know i can keep that tank happy keep the fish healthy and then i can find you know better filtration systems to keep the water more aesthetically clear or you know i can have my pothos growing to help uh take some of the load off or that kind of thing so that's kind of my my most important points or things to consider not so much I, the idea of this video was not so much just to give you the facts of you know this is the tank size this is the tank mates this is the compatibility uh issues this is the personality this is the diet like not so much that but kind of giving you more of like a what is it like keeping an oscar what do you need to think about that sometimes gets missed what's not so common about them that you might want to know all that kind of thing um so yeah but i mean you really should do it like i i often say to people i could never go back to not keeping an oscar if that makes sense like i just love them so much there's such fun fish um you'll get so much out of it basically i can't really say anything negative about them so you know think of a thing that's good um 
but yeah i mean that's all i had for today's video um if 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 you've got an oscar and let me know what your thoughts are i'd really love to hear it um i think they are they are a miss they're one that's frequently kept improperly but when you keep them you know in a big enough tank with suitable tank mates and stuff honestly there's so much you get out of them there's nothing better um so yeah i mean that that's basically all i had if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff i'd really appreciate it um but yeah thank you guys very much for tuning in i love you all and i'll catch you in the next one see ya